guys have been learning your sign language. Little did you know, it was also Mental Health Week. So, let's get into it. Please stand for the National Anthem. Kia ora Tamariki, welcome to our assembly for New Zealand Sign Language Week. I hope that you've learnt lots of sign language this week and I hope that you have enjoyed um, doing things that are a little bit differently this week. This week has been particularly good for me for seeing progress and I thought that this would be a really good way to end the term by talking about the progress that people have made. Thank you to all the people who have come down to my office and have brought me either their ICANN test or their EAST or writing or reading test. I have loved seeing the progress you've made. And it was a really good reminder for me that sometimes we get really concerned about how we're achieving and we compare ourselves with other people and one of the great things about the tests that I've seen recently is that you're not comparing yourself with other people, you're actually comparing yourself with your previous test scores. And for lots and lots of people, I've seen test scores where you started here and you've progressed up to here. And we're always looking for progress. And so even if there are people in your class who are achieving way up here, and you might feel, oh no, I'm still down here and I'm struggling a little bit, if you've gone from here to here and you've made progress, then actually you're doing really well. And progress comes from effort. And so this is a time for you to really think about how much effort you've put in, because the amount of effort you put in, the amount that you persevere and keep trying hard is going to dictate how well you make progress. So congratulations to everyone who's made really good progress this term. Friday is the last day of the term. I hope that you have got some really good plans for your holiday. As well as being New Zealand Sign Language Week, this is also Mental Health Awareness Week and I know that your teachers will have spent a little bit of time in health talking to you about what are the things we do to help us relax, what are the things we do to help with our well-being. And so over the holidays, please spend some time looking out for yourself, doing some of the things that help you to relax, looking out for your well-being and just have a really good time because this has been a really long, long term with a little lockdown in the middle of it and lots of you are very tired and you just need some time to chill out. Have an amazing holiday. 
be safe and I look forward to seeing you next term. Ka kite anō. Now, Badgers with Miss Bush. Kia Tato. Welcome to the last week of the term and for the Badgers for this week, achievers are Joby Harrison for Manaki Tanga Times 3, 40 hour famine, fun run and contributing and participating. Great work, Jamie. And the Bronze Principals Award goes to Kasuki Sino in Room 13 and Simran Prasad in Room 25. And this week's Gold Principals Award goes to Aria Hobbs Allen from Room 15. Great work, Aria. And student support goes to Constantine Mata'afa, and it's for help with the new student and parent visits. Constantine, you've done an amazing job. You make us really, really proud. North Harbour Rep goes to Jeremy Christie from Room 2 for he's in the Water Polo Under 12 team. Hi, I would like to award the following badges for cheerleading to Morgan, Cara, Shanti, Crystal, Aria, Jamie, Issa, Brea, Rin and Minna and also the following representative badges to these girls who represented Brickdale Intermediate School at the Spring Carnival last weekend. And those go to Cara, Shanti, Crystal, Aria, Jamie, Issa, Brea, Rin and Minna. Congratulations girls. I would like to award the following performing arts badges to these um, band members who have been working with Sean and Chenny for the last three terms. And they go to Finn, Phoenix, Cam, Astra, Theo, Xavier, Izzy, Felipe, Cameron, Roxy, Connor, Jasmine, Maddie, Lily, Ben, Cooper, Zen, Holly, Kira, Charlotte, Chilla, Pete, Elsie and Joel. And we can't wait to watch you at the Rock Quest next term. Congratulations. Now, on to Student of the Week with Lily. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Term 3, last Student of the Week. Let's start off the day with Sarah Room 1 for a commitment to her learning in all curriculum areas. Next, we have Taimania and Dayton from Nahua for showing amazing leadership for Rata Karawe. Sienna Room 6 for striving for excellence in all curriculum areas. Phoenix Room 22, a positive, well mannered, considerate, and good humoured Year 8 role model. Dylan Room 22, demonstrating perseverance and curiosity in literacy. Jeremiah Room 4, for setting a positive example of all our school values. Isaac, room 25, for excellent work on your island project in maths. Magnus, room 10, for outstanding attitude and effort in all the curriculum's areas. Turini, room 15, for always being focused on her learning and literacy and getting an amazing result in her reading test, Karawe. Jerome, room 14, for his amazing work in literacy. Zion, room 15, for a selfless act of care and kindness in his classroom and with his friends. Morgan, room 8, for his consistent effort and contributions to learning and social science. Ryan, room 5, for his thoughtful questioning and deep thinking in social sciences. Benny, room 23, for his amazing effort in all areas of school life. Matt, room 23, for always being a delightful member of Fano 23 and striving for excellence across all curriculum's areas. Joelle, room 7, consistent effort and commitment in literacy. Josh, room 1, for being awesome at PE. 
Samuel Room 22 for excellent work and enthusiasm in hard materials. Carlos Room 1 for fantastic and confident theatre sports skills in performing arts. Joel Cocker for a mature attitude at softball. Thank you everyone for listening and I hope you have an amazing holiday. Now let's have a look at BIS News. Breakfast Club is on this morning in the food tech foyer as per usual. All welcome here. Dance studio is open at lunchtime. Lunchtime sports is on today. Turf will tell boys the next term. Get planning over the holidays and get your entries in next term. Today's challenge. What are five positive thoughts or good things that have happened to you this week? Dance sport is open at 1.30 today. Meet Johnny in the dance studio in the Belgos. There is no math extension at BC today. Bye! <laughs> Let it go! Now on to Steve. Tell for love, my name is Carlos. Kia ora, my name is Steve. And we will be your host for this week's Block Sport. Rata 1, Volleyball, Basketball, Dodgeball. Rata 2, Kia ora, hey, Volleyball, Basketball. Rata 3, T-Ball, Longball, Volleyball. Rata 4, Tug of War, T-Ball, Longball. Cody 1, Volleyball, Kia ora, hey, T-Ball. Cody... <laughs> what was... Cody 2, Longball, Dodgeball, Tug of War. Cody 3, T-Ball, Basketball, Netball. Cody 4, Tug of War, Volleyball, Kia ora, hey. Remy 1, Netball, Longball, Dodgeball. That was mine, anyway. <laughs> That was mine. He said mine. Let me do Remove me. one. Netball, longboard, dodgeball. Remove two. Kiorahi, t ball, dodgeball. Remove three. Dodgeball, tag ball, volleyball. Remove four. Basketball, netball, longball. <laughs> yes. Matai one. Netball, tag ball, t ball. Matai two. Kiorahi. Kiorahi. Netball, tag ball. Matai 3, dodgeball, kiorihi, netball, ah! matai 4. Let's restart that, the oh. whole thing. I'm only one call away. I'll be there to save. Superman got nothing on me. I'm only one call away. Call me, baby, if you need a friend. I just want to give you love. Ooh, more, more. Reaching out to you, so take a chance. No matter where you go. Don't
Talent quest during final time on Friday the 13th. Everyone can join and you'll be grabbing yourself a sweet sleeve badge. First place wins a $100 warehouse gift card, second place wins a $50 warehouse gift card, and third is a $20 warehouse gift card. See you there! See you there! Bye! See you there. Oh. Now on to what is it? Kia ora and welcome to this week's What Is It? I'm your host, Kahu, and this is Tyrell. Let's take a look at last week's What Is It? answer. And the answer was... A calculator. And the winner was... Shanti. I didn't even know that they had them. It's Miss Bush. Okay, hurry up. I know what we're saying. Remember what we said to Miss Young? For last week's participants. Congratulations, Shanti. Here's your chocolate. Damn! You like threw a bullet in my face. <laughs> Let's see this week's what is it. Classroom and hit the link. Oh, my buddy's always so late. I'll just ask the office for a call out. Good morning. Could we please have somebody for Road Patrol? We need a reserve for Road Patrol. Please come to the office right away. Thank you. It's my day, but someone else can do it. I can't be bothered. Isn't it your turn to do the Road Patrol? Yeah, but I'm not going to do it. You can do it. Yes. It's my turn to shine. Come on, someone must be able to do road patrol. I right, am helping you do road patrol. Thank you. Let's go! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Now it's time for Call to Corridor with Fire Alicia. Kia ora everybody, no mic ki tēnei wahanga or it's cool to call it all for Alicia. Now, I know the holidays are coming up and we are so excited for that. I, I know I am. I know some of my students are too. Now, we've been working so hard this term and so I would like us to do three things, okay? The first thing that I would like to do to Mount Tahi is whaka tā. Now, whakata means to take a rest, to have a break, to mentally have a break with your brain because your brain needs, your roro needs a, a break as well. Second thing is to whakapai. Whakapai means to clean. So help your parents clean their house. Help your sister do, clean the car. Clean your room. Kupu to a toru. To make the person happy. So go and hang out with some people you've um, you've missed over the term. Hang out with your friends. Make yourself happy. 
three things. Whakaharikua e te tangata, make a person happy. It could be you, it could be your mum, be your cousins. Whakapai, whakapai te whare, which means to clean the house. And whakata, whakata means to rest. Because we deserve it. We worked really hard this term. Nō reira, kia hau maru te noho, kia painga hararei, kia kiti a koe, a te wānga tu a whā. Have a safe and awesome holiday, and I'll see everyone term four. Ka kite. Hi, it's Sean from Scotland Yard, back with another edition of the ever-popular Caught on Camera. Today... We bring you two different situations for your edification and amusement. The first is about combinations and holiness. There are only a few combinations, but the correct one is shoes and socks. Um, Fireman, what do you think about kids bringing their socks down outside? Without shoes on. Yeah. Oh my goodness. As a parent, it grinds me. I can see my daughter coming home all the time with holes in, this, in her socks. And no, I'm not a fan. Put your shoes on. Why? Well, what do you think about kids wearing their socks? I don't like the kids wearing their socks. They come into my class and they, they feet honestly smell so bad. And they got these massive ass holes. Like one time, a kid, I could see his toes. <laughs> I think it's disgusting and I'm not too sure the way he does the washing for them. Walking in socks. Filthy, holy socks. Notice, no shoes. Here's another one. Bare feet, no shoes. How unhygienic. They thought they could get away with it. Little did they know that they were caught. Caught on camera. Don't get caught on camera. Yeah. What socks? Yeah. <laughs> and they, they feet honestly smell so bad. And they got these massive ass holes. Our second clip is even more shocking. Here, in this exclusive court on camera footage, we captured this twerking individual shaking his booty. How embarrassing. <laughs> Subjects have demonstrated every one but the correct one. Don't get caught on camera. So, until next time, this is Sean of Scotland Yard, hoping that you have a great vacation and reminding you, don't get caught, get caught on camera. Now it's time for everybody's favourite thing of the show, Fist Bumps. I know the dance, I just learned it. Sorry, 
I know it. 